Welcome back. So we are in our SAP Business Application Studio Dev Space Creation page, and you can see this index.html. We are going to create a new space, and uh, we can provide the name as Demo Cap M. You can give any name which suits you. And here I'm going to select SAP Cloud Business Application, and uh, there are a lot of additional extensions which you can also add, like SAP Wi Fi. HANA tools and workflow. So this will provide you additional capability in your dev space, but I'm not going to add any of this because it will be sufficient for me to demonstrate the CAPM application. So I'm just going to select this and create dev space. So it's going to take few seconds and it will start our container. So once the container is in running state, we will resume the video to carry forward. So our container has started and is in running state. Let's open this container and this process is going to take few seconds based on your network speed. And initially we don't have anything. We have this blank bass studio and uh, what we are going to do, we are going to first create a new project. So let me go to terminal and new terminal and um, I'm going to go inside projects and uh, here let me make a new folder mkdir capm01 and inside this capm01 folder i'm going to create my first project so you can just create the project from the initial start screen itself but in this case i'm creating a new folder just so i arrange all the artifacts properly so let me open the project folder so inside user, you will find the projects. By default, all the projects will appear or get created inside this projects folder. So let me open it. So it's going to reload the bass again if you try to switch folder, but it will be quick, not much delay you will find in those scenarios. Okay, so let me close this welcome screen and uh, I'm here inside the projects folder and CAPM01 folder is also visible. Let me go into file and say new project from template and um, inside this navigation where which you can use to create the project, it will basically ask you to navigate to which location you want to basically create your project. So I'm going to say CAPM01. This is the location where I want to create the CAPM project. I will select the CAP project and uh, next. And here I will name the project as uh, demo cap 01 and uh, it will be a node based project. You can also create this Java based project, but we are going to select the node one or see the scenario of the node one. There are also other additional project settings which you can enable like CI CD, pipeline integration, HANA deployment. MTA and Jupyter based CAPM. And with time, you might also see many more features getting added here. You can select those and try out if you want, but we'll not do that because we will be keeping things pretty simple and straightforward of what we have already covered in the CAPM course. So our objective will be to mostly if you want to use BAS with existing CAPM course because that is the place where we have covered a lot of details. So how to do that? So I'm not going to select any of these additional features yet and finish. And it's going to take a few seconds and uh, you can see that we have a new project. And when we talk about the project structure, we have this .vs code, which is mostly getting utilized by BAS. And there is this app folder, which is empty. There is DB folder, which is empty. There's service folder, which is empty. So you can also guess if you are new to CAPM that we have service, which goes into service folder. We have database artifacts, which goes into DB folder. And we have the HTML application, which goes into the app folder. And then there is dot CDS RC.json, which is kind of a setting file, which tells, okay, what are the database artifacts? What are the database which need to be linked? So those settings come here. And uh, then we also have this package adjacent. You can see that we have dependency at the rate SAP slash CDS express. Also we have as a dependency and there's also a dev dependency of SQLite database. And in the start script, we have CDS run. Now, when you go for CAPM application development, I will highly recommend to 
go and have a look into this lab.uffcn.com and uh, this is basically a hello world or a basic project setup scenario and um, we will be basically copying some of those examples as well and uh, following through so this is the initial project and um, we will be basically building the project or trying to get the help of the lab.uffcn.com which is basically the getting started to capm world examples and uh, coming to our sample application here if i try to basically go into the terminal and uh, see what happens or what appears if i try to run this particular project i can basically first uh, go into the project cap 01 change directly demo cap and uh, we have to create the dependency that is the first things to do we don't have any node modules so i'm going to say npm install and uh, this is going to install the node modules and uh, you can see that we are facing some kind of issues here and uh, there's some warning but we also got error now error need to be fixed so let's see what is giving this error and we are getting this error for sqlite 3 and it can happen that sqlite 5 version might not be compatible or supported so you can know more by reading through the errors to get an idea okay what actually went wrong inside the package but what i'm going to do i'm going to come here to my lab and uh, i'm going to basically find the package.json which worked previously so let's check if we have here in uh, deploy app to scf and i'm going to take the version of the sqlite so you can come here to deploy app to scf and here this is the sqlite 3 version which we had previously which was working so i'm going to just replace this with this dependency and uh, let's try to first i'm going to remove the node modules so that the fresh installation can be done so clear everything and and pm install so it's going to install all the dependency and it worked now we didn't had any issues and now let's see if we run the cds run now if i try to write cds run in your local machine if you're trying to do that it might work if you have the cds package globally installed now what i mean by globally is if you go to our lab here now the first step is to install the sap cds dk so this is the global installation which need to be done and in the bas it might be already there so if i try to just write cds then you see all this command here now this command you are able to see because we have already the cds command global installation in the bas terminal so i can also see what is the version of it and uh, let's go and check cds version and you can see that sap cds 4.5 cds compiler 1.49 cds dk 3.33 and there are other packages as well so what i'm going to do i'm not going to use the bas cds because most of the time when you're working with the project you need to use the project related dependency so what i can do here is i can just write here npm start and uh, what it's going to do is it's going to run or invoke this cds run with the start script and internally whatever the node modules cds library we have that will be getting used instead of the terminal cds libraries which is globally installed in this bas so let me just write npm start and uh, you can see that there is a error and uh, what error we have is we don't have any kind of model which are present in db we don't have any kind of services or any kind of ui and everything is empty so therefore it was not able to run anything so what we are going to do next is we are going to basically pull a existing project of capm now this is the capm level one which we have already created in our capm course we will pull this particular project this is the level one of the capm and we will be trying to run that particular project in our bass so let's catch up in the next section to perform those steps hello and welcome back in this section we are going to import a existing project and uh, this is the project of level one of capm which is a very basic project which we created in the capm course in the first week we have created this project of the course 
So we will try to get this particular project and try to run that on our bass. Now in the previous section we have seen this is the out of the box project which was created we have the blank folders containing app db and service srv folders so three blank folders were created we just got the structure of a basic or a bare bone of a capm application we also got the packet.json now let's try to create one more folder and uh, we'll get the capm level one project into that new folder so i'm going to call it mkdir cap m02 so that is the name which i'm going to provide to this particular folder and uh, this is the folder which is created now and uh, there are a couple of ways which you can get this particular code you can either download this as a zip file and then you can import it here and uh, unzip it what we did in the previous sections in the ui5 course we migrated the project from web id so that is the same process what we can do or the simplest way is to basically copy the link and you can just click here copy so this is the link and uh, i can just come here and do git clone and the link and it's going to clone the entire project for me and you can see that the project is cloned in my local repository and uh, let me see what I have in the packet.json. Now you can see that this is the node engine information which in the previous version of CAPM which you will find and also if I investigate do I have that same thing in my newer version and you can see that the node engine is not present. So this is something which it's better to remove because sometime you might end up having issues when you push your CAPM project into Cloud Platform where you don't have the specific 8 version node compatibility. So 8.9 version compatibility, if you don't have that particular engine, then you might face error. So I will remove it and what more. So one more thing which I can see is the SAP CDS, the version is 4 here and um, this is the out of the box templating code and here we have the 3.18.4. So one thing you have to be careful when you deal with versioning is sometime because the project which we clone was created almost two years back and you need to be careful that is my dependency now properly working with the newer environment or newer set of node engine or uh, newer node runtime or other updated package so what i will do is i will update it later on but first let me give it a try is it working with this setting i have just removed the node engine part and if i come here and see node minus v my engine is 10 0.23.1 so this is my node environment which i will be using or this is the default environment which is provided to me out of the box in the bass and uh, i have just removed from my project the environment where the 8 was required so you can see here the 8.9 node engine was specifically mentioned i have just removed that okay so let me save it and uh, the first thing which i will do here is uh, i will do npm let me go inside the project so i'm going to check where am i so i can basically move the entire project this uh, cap m level one final into cap 02 just to maintain what we did first and then second so that is the reason and uh, now i will see in the terminal cap m level one final is inside cap m02 so if i go inside cap m02 change directory cap m02 then i will find cap m level one final okay so let's go inside this particular folder and um, we have all the project we have the packet.json let me do npm install and it's going to take few seconds and once the installation is done you will have the node modules so we have the node modules and let's see does the cds run in memory works so if i want to call the cds command which is part of the project then i can use npm run start and this cds run in memory script will be then run so let me try that and uh, yes 
the project is running and it has exposed the services and the application in 4004 port so let me open that and uh, the application is loading so this will be a basic ui for application where you will see one tile and this is the manage student application so if i go inside if everything is proper then i will see four entry or four records so this is running in memory so yeah so that is what we have so there is a basic capm level one application i see four records 